Alright, uh, dev vlog one. Didn't think I'd be here, but uh, here we are. So, a ridiculously, in my opinion, good idea came across me yesterday um, about a containerization thing I want to do, kind of a web application. Um, I'm super broke, going into a lot of debt for a master's program, and uh, it seemed like a good idea, right? Um, not going to go super into it yet, but really I'm going to go into some of the thought process and kind of how I got here, right? So again, super broke. Um, seemed like a good idea. Seemed like something I wanted to work on. Um, and I, about six hours into research on this, found that it already exists. Um, and I think that's super important to talk about because with startup ideas, a big thing is you need to have some kind of ridiculously new idea that's never been done before. Um, and I had to stop and think if that was something I still wanted to pursue. Um, I decided I could take a different angle on it and I'm still going to pursue it. I still believe it's pretty novel. I don't think it's well explored in the space. And um, I think with the proper marketing and the proper positioning, um, not only can both projects coexist, but mine could still be profitable. So I am the anti-cloud guy. Um, for sure. I run um, about six servers in my house. Um, they're all right below you. Um, but I'm, I'm looking to go cloud native here. So I'm going to host this on micro K8s locally. Um, get all the kind of the quirks and the Phoenix worked out right. Get everything how I want it. And then my plan at this point is DigitalOcean. So I use AWS at work, but I don't really love their pricing model and I don't love AWS uh, in general. Um, I've used IBM Cloud, it's an option, but we'll see, we'll see where that ends up. Um, their K8s is actually pretty good, um, and we're going to go from there. So I've been doing a lot of, um, as you can see, so I've got the, uh, on this side, the Docker container I'm sitting in right now, so I'm just using regular Docker, not K8s. Um, this will be kind of my first foray into K8s. Um, I've been using Docker files and doing Docker Compose and um, all that kind of stuff for probably about a year now, a little over a year. Um, and I think it's it's time to kind of start building an auto-scaling application. Um, the reason I'm going cloud here is I do have a lot of computing resources at home, but I don't have enough IPs, number one, and there's some ways around that. But another one is I do want this to be a startup application that scales, right? So if I build a cloud native now, um, when I get the pricing model correct, I should be able to scale up pretty easily um, with the proper, you know, configuration. Um, so that is kind of like currently the process. So we're already um, about like 10 git, git commits um, in this repo. It's private right now. We're going to figure that out later. Um, uh, again, working in just regular Docker files using Docker Compose and Portainer to kind of test everything out, get everything working. Um, it's a product that already exists for on-prem solutions. Um, and my goal here kind of is to find a good way to make it accessible to devs over the internet, right? Um, is kind of my goal. So I'm creating a developer tool um, and I want it to be super easy to work with. You know, if you think of like your replits and your code pens, um, I have local environments. I'm really good at managing those and working with them. But if I want to get something really quick or share something collaboratively, I'm really quick to jump on Replit or CodePen, right? So my goal here is kind of create a similar product for a different different use case, a different type of developer. Um, and at this point, I'm kind of just, A, want to get it online, get an MVP. Um, then I need to figure out the security and everything on the back end there to handle a bunch of different users and keep everything secure while working in developer environments. So um, we're going to see where it goes. I'm going to keep doing developer logs as I continue to work on this progress. Um, it is, you know, Python based. I'm thinking about do using actually um, Rust on the uh, kind of to handle most of the API in the back end and use um, the Docker containers that have Python to do everything that is Python based. Um, but that's the current progress right now. Really, the biggest thing I wanted to highlight is I did find that someone's already doing the solution I have in place. Um, and I don't think that's going to kill you for a startup. I mean, look at Linode. AWS, Azure, GCP, IBM Cloud, right? Um, they're all offering relatively the same solution in different ways, different models, different consumers. Um, and that's going to be kind of my goal on this project is to carve out my own segment of the market. So 
if you have a startup idea that you think is really neat, really novel, and someone's already doing it, uh, find a way to either do it better or do it better for the consumers you want. So uh, hopefully I'll keep you guys updated. We'll see what uh, continues.